Howdy folks, TJ here. I have something really cool to show you. It came pre-installed on my next Kickstarter 2. This little computer down here, to the best of my knowledge, if you upgrade your old Kickstarter 1 to the current core and next ZX OS, eh, you could do the same thing. What is that thing? Playing videos on your Specky Next. No, it's not 1080p. No, it's not 720p. But it is a playable video that you can enjoy watching a movie or whatever you rip uh, to enjoy on your Specky Next, which is cool. Uh, I'm going to show you what came pre-installed. Then I'm going to show you, you can make your own or convert your own videos to make it in a playable .vid format that the Specky Next can handle. The website, and I'll post it down below, is zxnext.uk forward slash next build forward slash make vid. I'll put the, uh, the, the link down below. Let's go ahead and show you a snippet. I'm not going to show you the whole video because you can enjoy that own experience, your own experience, when you get there. Uh, if you've got a, a Specky Next Kickstarter 2 and you didn't see the folder or you have one coming to you, all that fun stuff. So let's wake up my Specky Next and let me focus in on the screen. So in the Kickstarter, that's what KS stands for, I'm guessing, Kickstarter 2 Extras folder, and let me turn up the volume a little bit, you have a number of fun things. I've got to still play Crowley World Tour 2. I already started playing Night Night. You saw that the other day. And I kicked ass until uh, my uh, joystick stopped working because I didn't charge it in advance. <laughs> I, I didn't think about that, you know, at all. The Detour, that must be the Baggers game, and then videos. So I saw this and I go, videos. Okay, then maybe they have some regular videos. I can slap the SD card in a real computer. Well, this is a real computer, but a more modern, full-fledged, uh, high-speed, high-apparatus computer, and I can watch it. But no, I open it up, and I see this thing called KS2. Let's go ahead and launch it. I'm just going to select it and launch it. Z ZX Spectrum Next V Player 0 0.3. It said some stuff. Where Sinclair carried on working on the ZX. Now you can hear little pops and stuff. I think that's a known issue. I'm thinking maybe there's some update that could fix this. I'm not 100% sure, but let's watch a moment. What it would be like to use such a computer. This is the ZX Spectrum Next. So that's Henry. It's a video. It's a bit pixelated, obviously. This is an 8 bit computer. <laughs> but it's playing this video. We packed a host of new features into so this gave me an idea. Why don't I convert one of my videos, my recent Specky Next? Now, how do you stop this? Uh, Spacebar. <laughs> uh, how do I convert my Kickstarter 2 unboxing video, which is nearly 4 gigabyte in size for a 1080p video? Will I be able to use a program, this MakeVid, on a Windows system? Now, I'm a little... I don't use Windows. In fact, I didn't even have Windows installed up until a couple weeks ago when my main computer, which is a 2014 older i7, I've never had Windows on it. It came pre-installed with it. I took it off and put Linux on there. For 10 years, that's what I've been using. But the Linux started operating weirdly the other day, so I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll update my Linux, and I'll put an old hard drive in there, and I'll put Windows 8 on there. And then I ended up upgrading to 10, the free download, which is no longer free, but you can update. It's just not licensed or whatever, so I can't change my backdrops and stuff, which I don't care because I'm not going to run Windows other than to use this converter program to convert said video into a format I can put over here. So let me turn off the video. I'm going to put that camera over onto my main Windows computer, <laughs> and we're going to together try to convert an almost four gigabyte movie video into a format the Knicks can handle, then we'll come back over here, plug in the SD card, and see if it works. So hold tight. All right, let's hope this is focused in well enough, because I don't do any of those HD ripper thingies here, and I'm not in a window, so hopefully I know what the hell I'm doing. On my desktop, I downloaded the RAR, which is a compressed file, over to this computer, and I put the make vid folder on the hard drive. And I also put the video that I want to convert, which is a MP4 in the same folder, or same, yeah, uh, on the desktop. 
So supposedly, I just need to double click on this folder, open the bin folder, and double click on make vid. Here's the window that comes up. It seems pretty, let me focus in a little here. So uh, supposedly, and I've never done this before, I'm gonna click browse. And I need to go find said video. It's on the desktop, make vid. Oops, I went one too many, desktop. Okay, here's the video I wanna do, and I'm gonna click open. <clears throat> File contains a space. What the fuck that? <laughs> Sorry for my language. Uh, do I have to remove, do I have to change the name of said file? Uh, so let me go back. <laughs> okay, uh, where am I? <laughs> Son of a bees weasels. Uh, desktop. Okay, let's change the name to just something. How do you change a name in Windows? Uh, this thing's so slow and clunky. Do you have to click like rename? Okay, rename. Let's remove a lot of this stuff. Uh, and I can always change the name later. Let's just uh, unboxing and get, I'll just put Kickstarter to unboxing. One big ass word and get rid of all this other jabazzles and hit return. Okay, let's try this again. Browse, select, open. Okay, it liked that. Uh, very good. Convert, it looks like you could change the directory where I want to convert to. I'm just going to do it to the desktop. That looks fine. And if I click convert, I'm going to let the settings stay as they are, but you can see you can change settings to different, uh, let's click this. It looks like you could do 256 by 240 or 256 by 192. Let's just stick with what it came up with for now. I'm going to leave everything else as is. Supposedly, if you put a check mark in this palette per frame box, you need to download one other program and put it in here in order for it to work. I'm not going to do that. Uh, use RAM drive. I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe uh, RAM's faster for converting rather than using the hard drive to do it. I don't know. But I'm just going to leave everything as is and click convert. Now, this window just appeared. Is it doing something? <laughs> it says... Uh, C, users, TJ, uh, and it's a big black box. And then, oh, there's stuff coming up on the screen. <laughs> I, I can't really see it from here because I'm kind of blind, but it looks like it's got a lot of text. Uh, what's, what's that just do? <laughs> Is that done? That can't be done. I mean, how can it convert a file that's that big? It's, like I said, 3 point something gigabytes. Maybe it is. <laughs> I mean, it looks there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this file on the SD card now and see if it actually plays. That just seems too fast. I and mean, what did it do? Go in there and remove stuff or does it do something? I don't know what it did, but it did it. <laughs> so hold tight. Let me put this on my SD card and see if it actually plays now. So hold tight. All right. We're going to try this again. So I was correct. That 2K file was not playable. I knew something wasn't right. And I had to play around for a while. I even posted some questions on the next Facebook group because I was just having some weird, strange things. But after I checkmarked a box on my own, I didn't get that info from the Facebook group, but I checked it and then things started magically working. So let me go ahead and go through the motions. Double click on make vid. This pops up. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna select the KS2 unbox video open. Now this is where you need to change some things up. This is a very long video. So I'm going to go in here and change this to 25 minutes. I think this is the minute side because I don't know if this is like millisecond, second, and minute or, or what. Because if I just put 25 in here, it doesn't work. So I'm going to put 25 over here. Hopefully I'm right this time. And I'm going to put a check mark in this use RAM box. So for some reason, I thought this was seconds, but it could be that this is seconds. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, I've got it from this to 25 since it's a 25 minute video. And I'm going to click on convert. It's going to bring up this big box window, I should say, not a box. Well, it is a box shaped. <laughs> And now it's going to go and start 
doing these frames per second. This process is going to take a really long time. Uh, you'll see the time here is crunching through, and it's got you know 25 minutes of video to flag through and adjust as it needs or convert. So I'm going to leave this go. I'm going to stop the video, but you'll see that you want to make sure it's doing these frames per second and that it's got time showing down here and it's working. So I'll stop here. Towards the end, around 20 some odd minutes in, I'll go ahead and start the recording again. And then you can kind of hopefully see what other windows pop up. But again, I needed to go down here and change some text in here. For some reason, I thought this middle one was minutes, but I tried it a bit ago and I just typed in 25 and it only grabbed like 25 seconds of info. <laughs> so I put the 25 over here now since it's about a 24 and some odd minute uh, video. So, okay. So I'm going to leave this be and we'll come back here in a little bit. Hold tight. Oh, I just started the recording again. Uh, it got up to 20 something. Hopefully it got the whole video this time. But it looks like it's copying a whole bunch of audio files. And then it kind of eventually just kind of hangs. Like we'll stop at the bottom, but then we'll see uh, a video. Uh, right now you can see up here, it shows zero kilobyte in size. I would think that's going to change here shortly. End file. Yep. And it just changed to 1.6 gigabyte, basically. One one, what's that? 1,681,297 kilobyte. So the, the size of the file now is pretty hurricane compared to before. And then this window just kind of hangs here. Nothing else happens, I don't think, after this. But th I'm going to go ahead and wait it out this time just in case I'm cutting it off early for some strange reason. But it did create the file. I see it here. It's huge. Uh, probably too big for what I want to do, but obviously <laughs> I want to see if it plays. So... That's it. Uh, so it seems to have worked. Let's go ahead and actually try to play the file now and see if it works. So hold tight. All right, I'm over to my next. I copied the unboxing video that I did and converted over on that Windows computer. So we'll see if it actually works here. If it doesn't, there's a PlayVid command that Alan Albright gave me on the Facebook group uh, in case it doesn't work. But I reconverted it. Because when I tried to play it the first time, I had an error, but then I was able to play it the next time using a PlayVid command that he gave me. But then I went ahead and just reconverted a whole copy. Maybe the first one was borked. So we're going to see what happens. So KS2 Unbox Vid. It brings up, it starts computing. It says ZX Spectrum Next V Player 0 0.3 Mapping. Now it is a pretty big file. This 24 minute video went from 3.0 seven gigabytes down to 1.6 gigabytes so it's still pretty big these have a two you know megabyte memory oh uh, yeah this is the same error that came up before so alan i'll get you information you, you had said uh, send me some information but uh let's go ahead and play it I'll, I'll show you what i see so to me everything worked as it should the conversion process uh, so let me get out of this error so i'm going to do a command line and it's going to be, let's see if this works, dot play vid, and then the minus sign one uh, ks2 unbox, oops, <laughs> unbox dot did, okay. Now let's see if it works. It worked the last time, and it started playing the video. So this does take a little bit, but it, it is crunching. It, uh, it is doing something. <laughs> How about yeah, she's picture? playing it now. It's so played out with all of the box openings. You know, I'm, so I'm like, playing in like uh, dither K, and <laughs> this is awesome. Specky next arrived. <laughs> so I'm not so anyway... For whatever reason, a just direct launch doesn't work, but it is playing this video, and it seems like it converted everything fine, so I don't know uh, what I'm doing wrong. But anyway, if you use the PlayVid command, it is working, so I've got some more learning to do, but I'm watching a video of me. 
next box will be thrown up and chewed up. The little pops that you're hearing, from what I gather, there is a beta core or beta uh, update that will fix this issue. So it is a known issue. So what am I yapping about? Okay, and if you hit any key on the keyboard, I don't know if there's any keys that can advance you, fast forward, play to the end. Uh, and, and keys that I hit on the keyboard just do start and stop. So I don't know if there's any such thing as go to the end or go five minutes in. It just stops. So I have to read up and learn some more. But anyway, it works. So that's the end of the video. So if you want to play your own videos, you can use this Windows conversion program. It's a little tricky, at least for me. I had no realization I needed to put a check mark in the use RAM disk box. If I didn't do that, it wouldn't work, period. It would go quick uh, for the conversion and you'd have 2K file. The second I put a check mark in that box and then put a big number 25 over at the far left. Again, I always thought 00 colon 00 colon 00 was seconds, minutes, hours. <laughs> but maybe it's not because I put uh, 25 in the middle thinking 25 minutes and then zero sec uh, seconds. And uh, it, 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 it didn't work. It only grabbed like 30K of information and it stopped. It could just be something I'm doing, but anyway. Hey, there you go. You can watch your own videos of yourself in this wonderfully, do I look like me? I got my Sinclair shirt on too. So this is cool. Uh, I'll keep tinkering, and as I learn more, maybe I'll post another video down the road, but thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.